Well, for our first 100 yards with Tina Wynn, we start things off with UNLV head football coach Marcus Arroyo. Coach Arroyo, it's clear that your job can take you anywhere and everywhere, and it's brought you here to Las Vegas. What's it been like for you and your family to live here in Las Vegas? You know, we've lived in a lot of states. That's what you do kind of in this lifestyle for coaching. So we've lived in nine states uh, in the past 19 years. So uh, Vegas has been awesome. It's been a really, really cool place for us. Uh, we lived from all the way from Oregon to Florida and everywhere in between. So uh, we really fell in love with the uh, with the people, the community, and, and, and what Vegas is about. How different is this from your hometown of Colfax, California? Yeah, this couldn't be any further than uh, than, than uh, Colfax, obviously. Uh, about a town of a thousand people. Uh, my town is actually not too far from Colfax, about one stop light and uh, really small, blue collar, hard working, hard working town. So couldn't be very, could, couldn't be further from uh, what Vegas is. Your first year as the head coach, you have to deal with a pandemic. So how have you been able to navigate through all the unknowns and even still today? Yeah, that part's, uh, the, the pandemic season's a, a different one. It, you know, nothing could get you prepared for that. I called every mentor I had been coaching for, for decades, a lot of them, and uh, none of them had the right answer. And I think that, that was something we had to really work on ourselves. And uh, we found out a lot about ourselves. We found out a lot about, you know, um, how much this, this job really gives back to you and gives to you too. And I think we're humbled by that now that it's kind of back in our laps a little bit. I noticed that you've got a pretty strong shoe game. How many pair of kicks do you own? Yeah, that, that, that's a number I don't know if I'm, I'm willing to give up. Uh, again, growing up in our generation in the 80s and 90s, you kind of, we were kind of the, the faces of, of Jordans and Nike and, and, and how that was about, you know, hip hop and um, shoes kind of went hand in hand at that time. So You've got a lot of coaching experience, including some NFL experience. Out of all the coaches that you've been able to cross paths with, which coach has had the most impact on you? Uh, it'd be unfair to name one. I think anybody in this industry who's done this long enough has a handful of guys. They probably have something that they do right now innately that they don't even realize they got from this guy or that guy. I mean, whether it's Jeff Tedford or whether it's you know, Mike Gundy, or whether it's uh, Mario, or whether it's Dirk Cutter, or interning with Mike Smith in Atlanta, or going to see Bill Belichick for a few weeks at a time in New England, or, I mean, I could go back and name all the guys from, shoot, them nine years old, from seven to 10 years old. I grew up in Rockland, California, 49er headquarters, and uh, see our college with Bill Walsh, and in that group and that was probably something that I look back on and had more of an influence than I probably imagined. You and your wife recently welcomed in a new baby boy. How do you balance out being the father of two kids but also being a head coach? Yeah that's a delicate balance for us coaches. Um, really the, 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 the wives and the families of, of, of college football coaches, they're the, they're the heads, they're the, they're the ones that should be really celebrated. Um, we're gone, we're, we're gone 17 hours a day from August to December and so um, having a family in that balance is really, really more kind of like a military family than it is anything. So we've had our ups and downs and, and hard times just like anybody else. But I think that uh, I'm, I'm just really excited to have, you know, we got a new baby boy. We've got a, I got a daughter who's seven, so my family's pretty important. And uh, that balance has got to be something, is something that I've probably gotten a lot better at over the years, too. Mm -hmm. Well, lastly, Coach, we've already seen this team show resilience. But what else do fans need to know about this group that we've got this year? Well, this is, they've got five in them. I think that for the first time now, we've got a chance. We're, we're coming off a, a pretty disappointing start to it, but I think there's a lot of good things that we'll get out of it. And I think that uh, our guys have got the right mindset and the right culture. They're starting to gel together a little bit better, but we've got a lot of work to do. We knew that coming in, though. We knew coming in that this was going to be a really hard process at this place, and uh, we're cut for it. So I'm excited to keep, keep it going. Coach Arroyo, as always, thank you for your time, and good luck the rest of the way. Thanks.